If you've been paying attention to what the media have got to say about prehistory recently, you'll be wondering to yourselves, well, aren't the um, prehistory guys a bit behind the curve on this, looking at the headline? Because, uh, yeah, um, uh, Ice Age rock art uh, in the Colombian Amazonian jungle uh, has been hitting the headlines somewhat, has it not? Uh, uh, rather a lot. Rather yeah. a lot. The Chiribiquite Mountains, wow, isn't it fantastic? The truth is we were ahead of the curve and then something happened and we had to postpone <laughs> our, our broadcast. So you would have a few yeah. days ago if we <laughs> had... Uh, if everything had gone according to plan, but it didn't. There you go. Indeed. Uh, Nevertheless, we thought it worthwhile covering because, as ever, you know, the, the media don't have the chance to, uh, you know, get some of the background story on it. And there are a few mm. things missing from the uh, mainstream media that you may find interesting. But if you haven't yes, heard of this before, um, and this is new to you, prepare to have your socks knocked off a bit, really. So what are mm. we talking about here, Rupert? It, it is astonishing. As I said, it's in the Chiribigite Mountains in uh, in southern Colombia. And uh, <laughs> the, the thing is, the Chiribigite uh, Mountains, it's a, it's a nature reserve in, in Colombia. Uh, there are a number of uh, protected reserves in Colombia, and they're some of the least explored places on the planet, literally. So, on shall the I show the good folks uh, where we're talking about? Um, yeah, go on. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Because I, because uh, I can. There we are. Uh, as you <laughs> so said, you a see, southern Colombian. It's about I don't know, three hundred miles south of Bogota, something oh, like that. Okay. Um, Just to get a sense of scale. Uh, yeah, and uh, the discovery was actually made. Uh, about three years ago, but it was all kept quite quiet. Uh, I'll give a sample of what, you know, the kind of art that, that we're uh, looking at, as long as yeah. I'm clicking the right button here. You know, it's <laughs> slow. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, um, well, there's a full picture uh, <clears throat> of the kind of thing we're looking at. And uh, yeah. as it states in the uh, title of this, apparently there is eight miles of this um, yes. stretching out. And you, yeah. when when I say eight miles of it, now it begins to make sense when you look at this, the, the stretches of the cliffs here um, yeah. coming out, out, of, out of the jungle. So you've yeah, flown over the, the, these, this jungle, haven't you, Rupert? <clears throat> I, I have. Well, uh, to, to be honest, I, I flew over jungle uh, north of here. I haven't actually flown yeah. over this bit, but... The, it, it's true that uh, it's one of the most astonishing things about Colombian jungle is, uh, I was telling Mike the other day, I got into a plane at Bogota to take an internal flight up to Santa Marta in the north, and it's a two and a half hour flight. And for two and a half hours straight, you're just looking down at, at jungle, nothing else. It's just mm. jungle, mm. and uh, you know, you know that there are all sorts of. Uh, the, the, when I was last in Colombia, which was admittedly nineteen years ago, eighteen, nineteen years ago, um, and back then it was uh, it, it was rated that seventy something percent of of Colombian jungle had still not been explored. So they think there are still unknown tribes in there mm. that have never been contacted oh goodness, and Lord goodness, knows goodness, what me. sort of wildlife yeah. and everything else. Uh, so the fact that they've only recently discovered this eight yeah. mile stretch of uh, of rock art. But here's the thing that rock art is Ice Age. It is. <laughs> There's yeah. nothing recent about that. It's um, uh, the the youngest is about twelve thousand years old. I've seen twelve thousand five hundred for what it's worth. Yeah. yeah, and and there are depictions on there of animals that are now extinct. And these are ice age creatures, which fla which flags up another thing about this, and that is that uh, these are creatures that they're so extinct creatures that we know didn't live in jungle. So this area, look at my hair. Yeah, hey, I was going to say, you, um, might, you might want to look at your hair, Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> but these, um, 
These are creatures that uh, that lived in open, like horses, for example, extinct species of horses. That the the artwork is quite clear enough that you can tell what species they were. There was a white-headed yeah. horse, uh, mastodon. Um, uh, is there a mastodon in there? Uh, Apparently so. Just, yes, but we're talking about uh, the, the Ice Age megafauna, like mastodon and and, and gi which giant which do not sloth. live. Uh, which do not live in do not live. Uh, in jungle because they're too big. You just bump into trees all the time. It'd be far yeah, too yeah. inconvenient. Um, so <clears> that's <throat> uh, you know uh, that's quite uh, an important. I mean, thing but the, but horses discovery. don't live in jungles, generally speaking. Do <laughs> horses do not live in jungles. No, yeah. no. But we're, but we've also got to, we have got tapir and we've got alligator and stuff like that uh, represented uh, uh, in, and, in the art, and there's turtles told. in there. There's there's just it's extraordinary the wealth of artwork. But you know, as Mike said before, eight miles of, of it. it. Now, the uh, media will, will probably have given you the impression that this has only just been uh, discovered. I mean, the, the work that's been going on on it is quite recent. The reason we're getting this flood of information right now is, I presume, because of the press releases coming out of Channel 4, who mm. uh, have a documentary in one of their strands coming up uh, about uh, this rock art. And I think that's happening very soon. That's on the 12th of uh, December, isn't it? 12th of December. It's actually Rebe the well in in the UK. Program. That's I, I don't know if yes, it's going to. Uh, I don't know if it's going to, if when it'll be showed uh, elsewhere. I don't know who it was a may have been a co-production with, but uh, yeah. so we've recently heard of it. But it's been the this has been known about in Colombia for quite some time uh, now. I think it's I think it's three years. I think. Three, three. Well, it was given um, a protected status by the Colombian government in 2018. So I'm kind of assuming, and before that, it was yeah. known to be off limits because it's in what was in the area occupied by FARC, FARC, the um, uh, communist yeah. uh, guerrillas. So yeah. I, when exactly it was first known about, we don't know. And then that's a kind of sort of little bit of background uh, to this mm. that, uh, you know, may not have come out in the press either. Shall I read that mm. that bit, you know, from... Um, Do. Yeah, yes. I, I think this is from, from the, the Guardian, but it's got words from one of the uh, uh, guys. Oh, that's a good point. Ochre. Uh, you know, it's, we're talking about red ochre. Um, Yes. Uh, here in the yes, sorry, somebody in the chat brought that up. Um, but I anyway, let me just read this. Is the discovery was made by a British Colombian team funded by the European Research Council. Its leader, Jose Iriarte, professor of archaeology at Exeter University and a leading expert on the Amazon and pre-Columbian history. <clears throat> he said, "When you're there." Like this, your emotions flow. We're talking about several right focus in several tens of thousands of paintings it's going to take generations to record them every turn you do it's a new wall of paintings we started seeing animals that are now extinct the pictures are so natural and so well made that we have few doubts that you're looking at a horse for example the ice age horse had a wild heavy face it's so detailed, we can even see the horse hair. It's fascinating. Images include fish, turtles, lizards, birds, as well as people dancing, holding hands, among other scenes. And one figure wears a mask resembling a bird with a beak. Yeah. So it, it really is so extraordinary, isn't it? I think it would probably take a while for all the implications and everything to, uh, to, to sink in. Um, it's, a uh, it, it's, it's so big it's sort of it, yeah. yeah it's so large a discovery mm. it's it's really hard to uh, uh, take in uh, all at once and uh, yeah. it's, it, it's well, it, it'll be interesting to see how they manage this because all the Colombian uh, parks are protected you you can't just as a tourist you can't just turn up and go in you know you have to arrange your uh, your passage, um, and there's no uh, easy and access and, on no, from the physical all. aspect uh, of it either. It, no. it is a, a hack through the forest to uh, to to get there. 
Uh, well, uh, I mean, where where I was trekking in northern Colombia, that was, uh, you know, th that was uh, a few hours in four wheel drives until you got to the point where four wheel drives mm. couldn't go any further, and then it was days trekking, days. So, yeah. and that was probably you know the same sort of density of jungle as down here yeah um but there are fewer roads in this bit so it's uh it, it yeah, yeah. <laughs> so less of us wittering just uh just showing the pictures again just to it's just isn't it enthralling i mean how many uh how many hours of work uh, mm. Are you looking at in any of these things? Mm. I mean, when I say hours, <laughs> I mean obviously done over over, over generations. Anyway, I can see a horsey. Probably. I can see a horsey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, and, trying and to some, interpret a lot of these. Oh, things, zigzag uh, designs, uh, pet, you know, sort of spotted designs. All sorts. See that one that you're that you're showing at the moment. I do oh, sorry. wonder. No, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's all right. Now you've gone. Where are you going now? Yeah, that one. So I wonder what that that uh, circularish spotty yeah, thing. Is. Yeah. See that that to me that looks like a hinge. Oh, get away! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Yeah. Uh, no, you couldn't. Could you? <laughs> Look, there's a there's uh, a rug. <laughs> or but you know what? What oh, are anyway, some it's... of these things? It's just yeah. Uh, sorry to be facetious, guys, but uh, yeah, there are also seem. Uh, it, I've heard. I think I read somewhere there are indications of uh, the re representations of how they were painting these. You know, get on platforms or something like that. I may have made yeah, that up. Don't with, take my with, word for it. But it's no. To... I think I think you're right. They did say yeah. that. I saw that somewhere. Um, mm. uh, which yeah, okay. I mean, why not? You know, wooden ladders mm. or mm. something like that. Because some of the um, and now I, I also read that some of the paintings are so high up on the cliff face that they're in a feet up. In oh no, the we air. haven't. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you glitched. You glitched. It is the Matrix and you glitched. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> maybe it's a good thing. No, some of those paintings are so high up that they clearly were uh, done on ladders of some description or yeah, scaffolding yeah. of some description. We don't know. We don't know. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I think we've said all we need to say, all we, uh, we can we say just, on the we, subject. Uh, I hope if you have not come across that before, um, uh, that, uh, you, as I said, you have had your socks uh, <laughs> blown off off by that. Uh, if you have heard of it all before, forgive us for reiterating it, but uh, <laughs> thought the, the, the maximum yeah. number of people that are aware, the better, if you're interested. Absolutely. In, uh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. History, um, yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, I, I have to say it, but if you weren't aware of it and you want more news alerts and everything else, then hit the subscribe button at the bottom there, and yeah, yeah, uh, you'll hit the like get and alerts of when we come when we're doing more of this, and you know. Yeah, no, yeah. It, it not not only yeah, massages yeah. our egos, but also it does really help uh, YouTube <laughs> notice us and helps the algorithm and, and just you know helps the channel. <laughs> yeah. So guys, it does help um, the channel. It genuinely does help the channel. Indeed. Okay, with that, we'll say thank you for being with us. Uh, thank you for being a lovely, attentive audience. And uh, we'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.